I'm here to chew crayons, comfort the afflicted, and afflict the comfortable. And my bubblegum's all gone broke. And this spell is for Zaga Nurui, someone I have reason to believe doesn't realize that warm, fuzzy feelings are early signs that you got the brain slugs. The word is comfort. It is spelled C-O-M-F-O-R-T. I'm not comfortable with the way some of you people say comfortable. And while we're at it, I don't like what you vegetable people did to vegetable. Sloppy tongues. That's how we get into situations like this one where we say comfort, but we spell it calm fort. It's not my fault. It's your fault. So how'd we get this way? Well, everyone knows what a fort is. Fort Knox, Fort Sumter, Pillow Fort, Tree Fort. It's a place of strength, a stronghold, because that's what fort has always meant, strength. Even today, someone's forte is their strong suit, their comfort zone. And come fort, well, that's a fort made of come. And I don't mean calm, like calm, cool, and collected, as much sense as that might make, but come, C-O-M, like combine, community, communicate, commute, comrade, commune, to bring together, to create a union. So you see, to be comforted is to be joined with your strength, to be fortified, and the comfortable are those with strength, with power. That's what makes comfort such a dangerous thing. After all, if you give aid and comfort to an enemy, it's treason. And that's why they can't give you a home or a fair share of where you work. Because then you might get comfortable and strong. You, the enemy. So all I can say is take comfort, my friends. Take comfort. Take it. And give me your words. I will spell them all.